today we will be talking about uh, um, uh, configuring a HA proxy using uh, using Puppet, and um, uh, um, we're going to be uh, doing this uh, through a live uh, demo. So uh, there's no need uh, for uh, slides uh, so much. Um, so I will be uh, um, I'll just go straight to the uh, to the point. Um, let me share my screen with you. So, um, yes. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to add, uh, add them in the chat or in the questions uh, 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 box. Uh, both uh, uh, me, uh, myself, and uh, um, Irene will be uh, uh, watching for the questions and, and answering them as they uh, as they come in. If it's a more complicated question, we'll we'll wait for the end of the um, uh, of the webinar. So. Um, Talking about HA proxy, um, I presume that uh, um, most of you are familiar with HA proxy. Um, HA proxy is a, uh, a simple software uh, load balancer, um, and it's uh, it's quite effective. Where uh, uh, it, it does both TCP/IP session load balancing as well as uh, uh, HTTP uh, load balancing, and is quite uh, quite high performant. It's a uh, it's a very low uh, has a, lo a very low footprint. I, uh, uh, it's obviously not doing anything, but I have it running here in uh, in this uh, um, um, in this virtual machine, and as you can see, it's uh, it's doing virtually nothing. Uh, this machine is running nothing else but uh, HA proxy, and you can see it here. It's currently not doing anything, so you would expect it to be a very low uh, low footprint. But um, even when it gets really really busy, it uh, it can easily run alongside other uh, other software. Um, today I will be uh, showing you uh, how to uh, set up an, uh, an HA proxy uh, uh, instance using Puppet, and uh, how to uh, do load balancing across web servers. Um, in order to do that, I have created a um, uh, little um, WordPress blog. I'm oh, sorry, um, a little WordPress blog. Uh, I've created a little WordPress blog in a local, locally on a on a number of uh, virtual machines. Uh, you can see it here. It's uh, it's nothing special. Uh, I made a single a single post, youtubecom slash is where you can review all our uh, webinars. But um, yeah, this is a basic basic WordPress site. Uh, on the back end, um, what we can see is um, we have a, um, here on the left. We uh, let me show you. This is our Puppet Master. Um, and um, here in the middle, we have three web servers, uh, two of which are completely blank yet. So right now, uh, these are not running anything, as you can see. They're just sitting there empty. We'll start configuring them in a bit. The top one here um, uh, is running uh, Apache. And uh, what we have uh, uh, configured in Apache is just a single virtual host um, that uh, uh, connects to a database. So there is a, uh, a WordPress instance here in uh, um, WordPress. And if you look at... If you look at WP Config here, you'll see uh, nothing special. 
you'll see the database name is set to WordPress, user is set to WordPress, the password, uh, we've uh, taken, a, taken a random password, uh, the host name is set to db.olinata.vm. Um, so, uh, and uh, when we uh, um, look at olinata.vm, that's 192.168.56.40, uh, and that is this machine. Um, so on this machine, I have uh, installed uh, MySQL Server. So we have uh, MySQL Server, um, and we have a WordPress database here, uh, and And here we have a WordPress user. Um, this one is uh, being used, uh, allowed to connect from 192.168. Percentage, and this is the uh, password. So um, the web server is uh, uh, connected to the database server. Uh, all of this is uh, uh, configured in Puppet. I'll, I'll show that in a minute, but I just wanted to uh, go through the, the basic setup. Um, the last thing you need to know is this is my uh, hosts file for my uh, host operating system, uh, simply because we are using uh, uh, um, uh, VirtualBox uh, instances here. Uh, right now, uh, when I type www.olandata.vm in my uh, address bar, in my host operating system, it'll uh, resolve to web 000. So when I go to here, it just shows me the, um, the website and everything works. Um, that is all configured using Puppet. So here we have uh, Puppet in uh, ETC Puppet. Um, we have... Uh, um, See, we have here um, in um, environments production. In environments production, we have a number of different files. We have a site.pp in the manifests uh, directory. We uh, look at that, manifests site.pp. We have three node definitions. Um, the first one, db.olandata.vm, where we include the role MySQL server. The second one, uh, haproxy.olandata.vm, uh, where we include the role haproxy. And the third one, role web for each server that starts with uh, web and then has three digits. Um, let's look at the uh, role MySQL server first. Um, role manifests MySQL server first. There we just include only the profile MySQL server. We're, uh, we're using the roles and profiles pattern in this case because it's such a simple uh, setup, it's a bit overkill. Um, so you'll see that every role only uh, includes a single profile, um, but uh, it's just for uh, completeness uh, sake. So uh, the role MySQL server includes the profile MySQL server uh, uh, role. Um, what does that look like? MySQL server role. Here at the top, we uh, set an options uh, hash to make sure that MySQL binds to 0.0.0. .0. Then we include the MySQL server class uh, and set the override options uh, attribute to uh, dollar options. Um, we retrieve uh, username, password, and database name from the um, uh, from Hyera uh, so that we can create the proper uh, uh, user 
uh, database and, and grant. Um, obviously, this can be uh, uh, improved a little bit, but uh, for now, this was not the focus of the of the webinar. Um, so here we uh, uh, below this we create the user, we create the database, and we create a grant to allow uh, the user WordPress uh, uh, connecting from 192.168.percentage to uh, database WordPress. Uh, actually, to all tables in this case, uh, in all databases. Um, so this is a fairly simple uh, uh, setup for a MySQL server. And we can see here that when I do a um, Puppet agent run, really nothing changes because uh, it's already uh, uh, run uh, a couple of times. And when we say, uh, uh, it's not turned on. So uh, on the master, we no, never mind. Um, so this is the configuration of the uh, of the MySQL server uh, um, profile. Uh, let's look at the uh, web server profile as well. It's also fairly simple. We um, uh, we include the class Apache and set the npm module to pre fork is uh, required for mod PHP apparently. Um, so we include Apache mod PHP because uh, WordPress obviously is uh, written in PHP. Uh, we make sure that the MySQL client uh, uh, is installed on this uh, machine. And we um, uh, make sure that we have the MySQL bindings for PHP installed. This is uh, equal to the, uh, uh, the package MySQL uh, PHP um, 5. Um, or PHP 5 MySQL, I think, is the uh, is the name of the package. Um, so that makes sure that that uh, uh, is done. Um, then we have here, um, we retrieve the list of virtual hosts that we want to create from uh, Hyera. Um, I'll show you in a, in a little bit how that, uh, how that is done. And then uh, if we retrieved, any data from Hyera uh, in the vhosts uh, uh, variable, we create Apache vhosts uh, for those uh, vhosts. And last but not least, we uh, install, we make sure that WordPress is present uh, to make sure that the database user, password, and host are set correctly and that it doesn't create the database nor the database user. Um, because we separated out uh, MySQL and uh, uh, um, Apache. We want to do the database creation and the user creation on our database server. Um, so that's the, the basic setup of, uh, of web and database. Now, um, the more important part is obviously HAProxy here because uh, that's what you're all uh, uh, listening to this uh, for or watching this. Um, we have here a node haproxy.olandata.vm and all it does is includes a role called haproxy. Um, right now, that role haproxy looks fairly simple. It only includes the profile haproxy and the profile HA proxy looks also fairly simple at the moment. So right now, all we've done is we uh, include the HA proxy class. This installs uh, uh, HA proxy with a default configuration. And uh, one of the things we've done is we've added a listen uh, called stats uh, that listens on port 8000 on the IP address of ETH1 in the mode HTTP, and we set, we set the stats URI to slash stats and the authorization to puppet puppet. This is the, the most simple authorization. Um, considering we're here in a local uh, environment, I don't need much more uh, than that. Um, to show you that uh, all of this uh, uh, works well, I'll...
Let's copy paste this for now. Uh, I'll create this uh, machine, I'll recreate this machine. So I'll say vagrant destroy HA proxy. which really destroys the VM and the associated drives. So when I now say is vagrant status HA proxy, it'll tell me not created. So if I now say vagrant up, HA proxy, it's going to, um, uh, create the HA proxy virtual box for me uh, uh, once more. I've created a, a, a vagrant file uh, that, that holds my machine uh, definitions. As you can see, it brings up a, um, it brings up a, uh, um, a Debian uh, 7.3 uh, box. Um, Someone is, uh, uh, on a side note, someone is mentioning that uh, there seems to be a lag in the presentation comparing to the uh, sound. Um, is anybody else uh, uh, experiencing that? The, um, I'm also recording this uh, um, session, so uh, uh, after uh, um, after the session, I'll uh, I'll upload the, the the video, the recording to YouTube, and we'll send it to all of you so that you can uh, uh, look at it uh, as well uh, on your own uh, time. Uh, in the meantime, I'll uh, I'll just see. Uh, uh, I see that some other people are also. Uh, 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 experiencing, uh, it, but there's also people who are doing okay. So uh, we'll just continue, and uh, you can uh, watch the recording uh, later on. Um, so we uh, we recreated the uh, the um, the virtual box uh, HA proxy, and uh, we go into HA proxy. Uh, and now, obviously, when we run puppet agent t, we would have a problem because before this, uh, um, um, the puppet agent on haproxy.olandata.vm was already connected to um, to this puppet master. So, uh, in order to, uh, um, so if we look at puppet cert list. All you can see here that there is already a signed certificate for haproxy.olandata.vm, but that was obviously the old machine. So if I would do a puppet agent t here right now, uh, you can see it creates a new uh, SSL key, um, but then the certificate request uh, gets uh, denied because the uh, certificate retrieved from the master does not match the agent's private key. So in order to fix this uh, problem, we have to like, remove the, uh, the private key from this agent. And on the other side, uh, sorry, on the other side, um, we have to um, clean the HA proxy certificate. There, it's cleaned now. And now when I run uh, puppet agent dash T on the HA proxy machine again, it will uh, create a new SSL certificate and um, uh, do a, a certificate request, a signing request. Um, but on, because I have uh, auto signing turned off, um, it'll stop because uh, the certificate is not signed obviously on the master. Um, so now when I do a puppet cert list, uh, dash dash all. You can see here a new certificate, and if you 
check the first few uh, tuples of the uh, uh, SSL fingerprint, uh, you can see that it's very different uh, from the old one, 0D48 AD. Uh, you can also see that there, uh, the plus that was in at the start of the line has disappeared. Here you see a little plus, um, whereas here it is uh, disappeared. The plus uh, means that that certificate is signed. And if there's nothing in front of it, it means that it's not signed yet. So if I want to um, sign this uh, request, I'll do this, and now when I look at cert list dash dash all, you'll see that the, the, the little plus sign has returned in front of DB uh, sorry, in front of haproxy.vm. Uh, so now I go back to my um, haproxy machine and I run puppet agent dash T. Uh, I've made a mistake. Um, because the uh, the HA proxy machine is running uh, a Wheezy, uh, Debian Wheezy, uh, there is no uh, default uh, package for Wheezy. And you can see the Puppet Run failing here. And if we look at the first uh, uh, error message that we get, it is actually aptitude saying, hey, we cannot locate the package HA proxy. So I'll make a dirty um, uh, shortcut and go to the I'll go and uh, install uh, vim then I'll uh, update the sources.list to uh, include the uh, the wheezy backports uh, repository um, in jesse in debian jesse debian 8 um, there is a a package for ha proxy um, but in, uh, in Wheezy, it wasn't uh, included yet. Um, so we'll have to wait for this to, uh, to finish. Aptitude install Vim. Yes. Now we can go to sources.list. I hope I have it in my buffer somewhere. Dev uh, HTTP. I have to look it up. I'm sorry for this back. Ports instructions wheezy so we add wheezy backports and I do another aptitude update Normally, you would uh, include the uh, the aptitude update in your uh, Puppet uh, scripts, but I've kept it out. And even the uh, installation of the uh, uh, Wheezy backports repository should probably be in in done in Puppet. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Let's see if we just run puppet agent. Uh, if you're wondering which modules I used uh, for this, I can show you here uh, when you do puppet module list dash dash tree on the puppet master, uh, you can see that I installed Hunter WordPress. 
uh, Puppet Labs Apache, Puppet Labs HA Proxy, and Puppet Labs MySQL. These are the, the four modules. They have a few uh, dependencies, but those uh, uh, modules uh, are installed by, uh, by me manually or with the Puppet module uh, command. In the meantime, uh, uh, the uh, um, agent run here has finished. You can see that it has removed the default configuration and created a, a few new uh, uh, items. And when I go to etc HA proxy to the config, the standard config, we see that the um, uh, statistics uh, backend is, uh, uh, is still there, the one that we uh, created in uh, um, in Puppet. And when I go to haproxy.olandata.vm port 8000 slash stats, uh, I can see here that I only have my uh, stats backend. Now, in order for um, uh, um, for HA proxy to work properly, uh, what we will need to do is uh, we need to tell Puppet uh, we, we need to tell HA proxy on which port it needs to be listening on the front end and on the back end to which servers it needs to send its connections. Let's do a, a single server first. Um, so instead of uh, uh, Configuring HA proxy on the HA proxy machine will obviously do that with uh, Puppet. Um, so here in the uh, on our Puppet master, uh, we have the profile HA proxy.pp. Um, so we um, enable a, a listener, a front end. which will add a, uh, a front end to uh, HA proxy that will start listening on the, uh, uh, on the designated IP. Um, so as we can see here in the uh, web interface of, the, uh, of HA proxy, um, we can now see a new uh, listener called uh, Puppet00. However, there is no uh, place to connect yet. So if I, um, so my HA proxy machine uh, is running, my HA proxy machine is running on 192.168.56.30. Um, so I can uh, uh, adjust my hosts file um, to have haproxy.olandata.vm. Uh, uh, resolve to dot uh, thirty, and what I'll also do is I'll point my DNS for www.oldandata.vm to HA proxy. So I can see here HA proxy, uh, sorry, one ninety two one sixty eight fifty six is the IP address of www.oldandata.vm. Save this, and then in my browser I go to this address, I obviously get the service unavailable. Uh, the reason I get a service unavailable is because there are no servers that uh, HA proxy knows how to forward traffic to. So it says, hey, I, there is no uh, uh, no backend, so the service is unavailable. Um, obviously, we uh, uh, already have this uh, uh, Web00 uh, machine here. Um, that is running our website. So what we need to do now is uh, initially to tell HA proxy to forward all the traffic that comes in on HA proxy port 80 to to our web server. Uh, in order to do that, we need a balancer member. So HA proxy balancer member is a, a custom define that is uh, uh, created in the HA proxy module itself. This is the Puppet Labs HA proxy uh, module. And uh, for that balancer member, I create a title, in this case, master00, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is just an uh, artificial name. Then the listening service 
gets set to Puppet00. This is very important. It has to be the same as the HA proxy listen here. So if you are listening on multiple, uh, um, if you have multiple listeners, for instance, on different ports, then uh, each balancer member, you can determine which uh, listener it actually belongs to by setting the listening service to the uh, corresponding name of the HA proxy listen uh, um, can, uh, custom define. Um, Server name web00.olandata.vm, this is purely uh, aesthetic. And then IP addresses um, shows you, uh, or you, you need to uh, fill out where can it reach this, uh, uh, this new member of the, of the load balancer and on which port are we uh, uh, connecting. Uh, so I added this balancer member uh, uh, defined and now, when I run Puppet Agent T, you can see it adds a server web00. .vm with the IP address of 192.168.56.100. If we look at the uh, HA proxy uh, um, backend right now, uh, we see that the uh, the, the um, backend server is there, but we see that there's also a timeout of sorts. Let's see what the problem is. We can ping the database. Can we? can ping the web server from the uh, HA proxy. If I uh, retrieve here, the uh, um, sorry. If I retrieve uh, with the uh, wget, the uh, I'm on the proxy machine and I'm retrieving the, uh, uh, the index.html from uh, the web server. That actually works fine. So there must be something else up. Uh, let's see what the generated HA proxy config is. This seems to be fine. Ah, it just took a while to uh, come up apparently. Um, so as you can see, we now have uh, for the backend Puppet 00, we have one server that is responding to it. It's called web00.olandata.vm. Um, if I adjust my uh, hosts file now, uh, to uh, point www.olandata.vm uh, to the proxy machine, uh, I can actually here now see my website and it's flowing through the load balancer. So that's cool. That's the, that's the first uh, step. Obviously, now I would like to add another uh, machine to the uh, load balancer. Let's say our web001 uh, machine. Um, first of all, I'll uh, run Puppet Agent T on it to see how if that works well. It creates an SSL key and then it uh, uh, waits for the um, SSL key to, to be signed. So I, if I do a uh, cert list, I can see a new SSL certificate request with no plus in front of it, so it's uh, uh, it still needs to uh, be signed. I sign the certificate. This is done on the Puppet Master, and I go back to my uh, agent and I call Puppet Agent T again. 
and immediately we see that it starts running. Now, what will happen uh, is uh, obviously we um, it'll get this profile because of the uh, regular expressions that we have in our site.pp. Uh, so it'll install Apache, uh, MySQL client, um, all of these things. It'll create the virtual host and it'll install WordPress. However, something is failing. And this is the most normal thing in the world when you're running Puppet. So we scroll all the way up to the start of the Puppet run and we see what the problem is there. And I can already see that it has something to do with the um, aptitude. Um, and obviously it cannot reach the um, uh, machines. Sorry, the the um, the aptitude uh, servers, because we first need to do a aptitude update because the image is already a bit outdated. This will take a couple seconds. And then um, we can run puppet agent dash t one more time. And we can see it run, install Apache. Uh, it'll, it'll install the same things as it did on uh, the uh, first uh, web server. Um, once that is done, it's all fine. We have a second web server, but we still need to tell the, um, um, the load balancer about this. Now, our first approach will probably be to go into our HA proxy uh, um, device, uh, sorry, into our HA proxy uh, manifest and um, add a balancer member there. Um, just to verify that this all uh, went well, if I look at uh, web00.1, it runs on this IP address. And if I go to my browser, It has a problem with the database connection because it doesn't have the database uh, doesn't have the cannot resolve the database uh, uh, yet. Now, if I go to my browser, it should be better. So now if I go to my browser on the 1.101 or the 100 address, I get the same um, WordPress blog. But if I go to, uh, sorry, if I look at my uh, HA proxy uh, backend, it still has only the web 00. Uh, It still has only the web 00 backend. So I could go back into my uh, Puppet Master and uh, uh, do things dirty and say, I'll just copy paste this balancer member stuff. And presto. 
I run Puppet Agent on the HA proxy machine uh, one more time because it needs to update the HA proxy uh, config. Done. If I look at this now in the uh, in the stats backend, I have two uh, uh, servers. Um, so that's great. If I go to www.ordinator.vm, I might end up on either one of those uh, machines, and that's fine. So if I bring down Apache on web zero zero, my website will still work. And here I'll see that web zero zero is down at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna start this back up. Um, so that's that. Now, obviously, uh, this works okay with uh, two balancer members, but it gets uh, considerably more annoying once we have three or four or five. I do not want to be adjusting my uh, load balancer profile every time um, we have a, a, a new um, a new backend. So what we can do instead is use uh, Puppet's functionality for exported resources. Exported resources allow you to export uh, resources on one uh, machine. Uh, so when the Puppet agent run uh, happens on the web server, I want to store the fact that this web server needs to be a uh, load balancer member. And uh, when the um, Puppet agent run happens on the uh, on the HA proxy server, I just want to collect all of the uh, uh, HA proxy backends that we have, all of the web servers that we have. So, in order to do that, comment out this one for now. I'll take this one. And remove it from here. And I go into my web server profile and paste it here. Uh, I leave this balance remember thing uh, equal. Um, however, I'll make it so that it is automatically. Uh, Uh, deducted from the host, so I'll say dollar uh, fqdn, for instance. The listening service stays to puppet zero zero. This will be fqdn, and the IP address will be dollar IP address ETH1. Now, instead of making a normal resource, I don't actually want to create a balancer member on this machine. All I want to do is on this machine that is a web server, I want to uh, export this resource uh, and later collect it on the um, uh, on the machine that is the uh, the HA proxy uh, server. Um, in this case, uh, for in order to export resources, we prefix them with two at uh, symbols, the email uh, at uh, symbols. By doing this, it won't create this resource locally on the web servers. Instead, it will store the information in the database uh, in the uh, sorry in the uh, Puppet DB. And once Puppet runs on the HA proxy, it will collect all of the balancer members uh, and uh, uh, create them there. So this is the exporting. Uh, as you see, we've set the server name to FQDN, which is the uh, FQDN of, of the web server, because this, this particular manifest will be running on the web server. And uh, we set the IP address to the IP address of ETH1 of the web server. Um, so this is the exporting part. Now we also need to change the HA proxy uh, uh, machine to um, 
uh, to collect the uh, resources. So I say ha proxy balancer member and I say here between these uh, between these uh, two operators we can set any kind of filter so we can filter for any property in this case we know that the puppet 00, zero is the listening service for each of those uh, 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 balancer members um, so we can actually collect the resources so here we can say Now, if I run Puppet Agent on the web server, we shouldn't see any visual changes. We do see a visual change because there is an error message um, on line 33. Ah, I forgot a comma. Bad Walter. We see that the uh, agent run didn't do anything. However, if we run Puppet Agent on this machine, we should see a few slight changes. It has removed the old uh, uh, backends. And let me see. I did not create the new ones, so now this should look empty. Uh, must have made a mistake somewhere. Let's see what happened. AJ proxy balance remember. It. In this case, we can leave out the whole filter. Let me see what is the problem. And then I was stuck for a little bit. So luckily, the internet has done this before. Ah, it was a syntax error. My bad, I'm very sorry. Ah, the reason it hasn't
still there is no just to double double check there might have been a puppet run in the meantime there has not been a puppet run in the meantime We do uh, two more puppet runs on the agents because uh, for exported resources to work, uh, first the resource needs to be exported on the agent and then it needs to be uh, um, collected on the master. And the exporting happens during a puppet agent run. So the reason we are not seeing anything show up in uh, on the HA proxy machine is that for some reason either the, uh, the exporting of the resources doesn't work properly on the... Um, on the web servers, or the collection doesn't work properly on the uh, on the HA proxy machine. And I'm currently wondering which one is the case. Obviously, I tried the whole uh, uh, demo yesterday, and it worked flawlessly, and now I am at a loss. So according to the documentation, it should happen automatically even. I might have been using an older version of the module yesterday. Apologies here, life with Puppet is like this. It can be great one day and uh, problematic the uh, next day. I guess I will have to uh, debug it outside of this uh, webinar. We're reaching uh, up to uh, up to eleven. Um, this, however, is the uh, is the recommended way of doing it with the exported resources. Um, obviously, there is much more to uh, uh, HA proxy than uh, than just this. Uh, you can separate front ends and back ends. There's a lot of options you uh, you can set uh, separately. Um, the the HA proxy module from Puppet Labs is quite a uh, uh, a well built module and it has a lot of different uh, different options. So if you go to forge.puppetlabs.com/puppetlabs/haproxy, you can read the whole documentation and uh, uh, see all the things that you uh, um, 
would like to see. Here, uh, for instance, you have an HA proxy backend and an HA proxy frontend. If you want to separate them out, you can uh, uh, do that. Um, we have user lists, peers. There's a whole bunch of uh, uh, things that you can uh, um, use to uh, to configure HA proxy. But I'll I'll leave that up to uh, up to you guys. This is the uh, uh, the, the end of the presentation. Um, I'll be taking questions for the next uh, for the next couple of minutes, uh, and then uh, from there we can uh, end the webinar. I'll uh, I'll stop the uh, screen uh, share.